Well, first, I just want to acknowledge our fans. That was great to have them out there. It was good to see people in the stands, and you could feel it. It was um, an environment that we just can't recreate in practice and something that we discuss with our players of just as you perform or prepare to perform, remember there's going to be uh, that factor. And so today it was great for our guys to be in there. It was great to see the fans and to interact uh, and have their interaction on the field. And I, I think our guys appreciated that. Uh, I know it helped us. I know at times uh, it also allows us a chance to to be able to learn from just the performance that we need to have as we get out there in front of people and we go to execute. And so uh, there was plenty of things that we did do well today um, as far as uh, stuff the coaches have been hitting and emphasizing with each group and each unit. Uh, and then uh, some things that we got to work on, which is great. We have a practice on Monday that we get a chance to come back to and clean things up and then talk about what we're doing moving forward when we get into this time where finals are happening, guys have a chance to take a little bit of a break, and then we come back in June and get started. So there's a lot of things that are going to be happening here this next week and moving forward. And then we all know about the June 1st and having campuses open back up and opportunities for camps and opportunities for visits. So a lot of things, but today the focus was coming out, operate, execute, and, and seeing these guys just go out and play smart, play hard, have fun, and, and just cut it loose playing the game. The only way you get better is playing the game. And so we saw, at least from, you know, without going back and watching the tape, what I saw, uh, some solid execution with our blue offense. Uh, I thought the blue defense played well. Uh, our second offense uh, did not move the ball very well or very consistently, but I think that's because the defense had, had been playing uh, really around the football fast and getting to them. Special teams, we got our work in, and, and those were all just a tempo that was not live today. We wanted to get our specialists some work. Uh, they executed that. We wanted to get the communication from each sideline, getting guys on and off. Uh, and as simple as it may have looked, that's not hard to do. So appreciate our coaches and the players. We walked through that this morning. They had a chance to focus on those type of things, uh, and it all went well. And then just to be in a game-like atmosphere, we had TV timeouts. We had officials out there. We've got um, media on the sidelines. So just creating that environment, giving us a chance to get a taste of that as we move into that next phase and start getting ready for the summer. So with that, open up for questions. First question, question from Brian Matthews. <clears throat> Uh, yes, uh, Coach Harson. Uh, thanks for speaking to us. I uh, wanted to ask you about a couple of guys that weren't out there today. Uh, Alec Jackson, TD Moultrie uh, were two of them that uh, I guess didn't play or weren't out there. And, and just what's their status? Yeah, both guys are they're, they're part of the team right now. They just weren't out there today. And, um, you know, as we move forward, uh, those guys have, have been a part of what we're doing. But uh, today they were not. And, you know, those are uh, those are things that we're still working through. And, uh, neither one of those guys um, at this point, uh, so I would, don't make it any bigger than it is. Uh, they just weren't out there today for, for different reasons. Justin Ferguson. Brian, you said that you saw a solid execution out of the first team offense. What did you see specifically from Bo and kind of running the new scheme? Well, he made good decisions. That was one of the things. Uh, you, know, you see Bo, he's got escape ability. You know that he can throw it. And I thought he made good decisions. He checked the ball down. We had some deeper throws that were that were called, but they weren't open, so he checked it down. He found the underneath throw. He made good decisions in the red zone. There was chances to possibly scramble and throw one, and he pulled it down and ran it, and we were able to get us in a first down situation. We had the turnover. We had the fumble. I thought we were driving well. We had a couple fumbles in there, and you know those are those hurt us. You got to be able to hang on to the ball, and so we're going to go back and work through those. But overall, his, his efficiency in, in making decisions was one. I thought the other thing is he, you won't, we wouldn't know this, but getting us into the right play, there were some check plays and different things that we had called that he has to make decisions on. Uh, we changed the tempo up several times, and so he's got to be able to communicate that. So there's really a, several things in there that and I thought Coach Bobo did a good job of really challenging him and making him operate. And that's, and that's what you want to see from your quarterback. You just want to see him operate all the different things. And in a scrimmage, it may not even be that much in a real game. You kind of have a plan for the game. But in a scrimmage, you're taking everything from the 14 practice or 13 practices we've had, and you have it all in one plan. And so you're just recalling different things. He was able to do that. 
ultimately, uh, the ability to make great decisions. Uh, we made some really good throws. I thought he had a couple that, that we needed to come down with. And the guys around him, you, you got to go up and make plays. And there's some of those opportunities that we could have done that. And, and we ran some wrong routes. He's got the, the bead on where he wants to go with the ball, and we didn't run the right route. And again, you know, nobody sees that from the stands. We know it as coaches. We know it as players. And you're not quite sure what's happening, but there was some some uh, poor execution in some of those areas. And, and he was able just to move on. He moved on to the next play. That one didn't go well. On to the next play, we convert a second or a third down. We move the ball. We're able to put points on the board. And I think one of the things Bo has, he's a weapon. When you get out there and run, you can see he's got the ability to extend plays and make plays. And he did that today. So I felt like it was solid. I think when guys around him are playing well, and it's not just that position, guys around him are playing well, and they're, we're running the ball effectively, we're making, we're making catches I think we're capable of making, then you know, our quarterback's going to play really well, and he's, he's going to play excellent at times. But that's, that's really about everybody on the offensive side uh, helping that position and creating those opportunities for, for the quarterback. But overall, solid. I want to go back and watch it. There's going to be plenty of things that we nitpick. Uh, and that's the one thing about that group. I think Coach Bobo's done a good job. That's what you should do with that position. Really, every position is is really analyze it and, and evaluate every little detail, break it down, and then work on what you have to to fix it. Nathan King. Hey, Brian, you touched on it a little bit there, but how have the receivers responded? I know you said you were going to you know, apply a little bit more pressure to them to up their execution. How have they responded over the past couple of weeks, and what did you see out of them today? Well, I, I would say solid as well. I think today we, we had um, we we had some opportunities. We, we made plays. I know that there were some really good plays that were made by the wide receivers, and and even in the run game, there were some blocks that those guys have been working on. It's hard to block some of those guys on defense. They've seen these plays, and and they're also good. Our defense does a great job of getting off blocks, and I think our defensive coaches have taught that really well. So our guys have to work hard at the wide receiver position. But we had some we had some opportunities where you know we run the right route, put ourselves in the right position. I think we're going to have a better play. And so those are the things and everybody makes the mistakes, you know, they make some mental errors. We we're going to have some of those that come up. Uh, we need to be uh, more consistent at that position. And I think that's right now we're not where we want to be and, and we're going to work through um, focusing on that as we get into summertime. So between now and when those guys come back and, and start preparing for June, there's got to be a lot of work done during that time of just understanding and, and really seeing a lot of the things that we can improve on. And then doing that in the entire summer and then doing that through fall camp and then uh, continuing that through the entire season. The wide receivers are asked to do a lot. You see them moving around. They're in different positions. They're in different alignments. And so they've got to study. They've got to prepare. And they've got to be you know, really students of the game to, to do the things we're asking them to do. Tom Green. Hey, Brian, kind of going off that, I want to ask about uh, what, you what you've seen from Elijah Canyon this spring. Um, obviously, he kind of stood out in the bowl game and then, uh, you know, had a touchdown today, just how, how he's progressed. Yeah, he's been good. He's been good. But just like I said, I mean, it's, it's not really, I'm not going to single out Elijah. Um, the wide receiver group, like most positions right now, that that's – really the same story it's it's the we all got to work on things and, and that group in particular on the offensive side and and because of we're using multiple tight ends we're going to be able to use multiple wide receivers we want to get guys in different positions we want to be able to use them at a variety of, of locations on the field not just at their one spot and that's that's where the the study that's where the consistency I think a wide receiver in my opinion you run more. A lot of guys run. That wide receiver position, you're always running. You're running on special teams. You're running in practice. And you've got to be a mentally strong guy to go out there and, and be able to do it consistently day in and day out. But the great ones do it. They do it consistently day in and day out. They, they run great routes. They work through uh, the details. And there's a lot of little details in our offense when it comes to the wide receiver position. And so... Like I said with that group, and I've said with every group, we made mistakes consistently. We need to make new ones. Today, I thought we made some new mistakes, so we made progress in that area. We went and we made some of the same ones that we made before. And you know, at some point, 
that's where the, the change has to happen. There's got to be there's got to be that change in in just the habits and preparation for everybody uh, to fix those problems and move on to new ones. And what does that take? You're not gonna you, you do it in meetings. Great. You do it on the field in practice. That's one thing. You got to spend time in order to be successful in all those little details that, that come up day in and day out so that you can correct the mistakes you've made and move on to new ones. That's that's the wide receiver position right now, like many other the other positions where at some point those, those ha- that has to change. And that just that's just going to come from uh, a decision of, of that I'm going to be more disciplined. I'm going to work harder at these things. I'm going to better I'm going to work on my preparation habits and, and that's going to happen. And that's that's got to be a, a mentality that's created within uh, each room. It's also got to be a mentality that you create as a, just as a person that we all work on certain things. Football is no different than what other people do in, in their occupations. It's just how hard you're going to work on it and are you paying attention to the little things and are you doing things extra in order to you know, make sure that you don't make the same mistake twice. So that's what we're working on right now with that group, and today was solid. Coach, we're going to take two more. First one is from Mark Murphy. Yeah, could you talk about the defensive front this spring, how they've come along? And also, I didn't see Jaron Handy or Jay Hardy out there in the group, and I didn't see Marco Domeo in the in the secondary. Right. Well, I'll start with the D line. Uh, the D line is, you know, moving JJ over there. We had that. You know, I remember I mentioned that, and I think he's been a great addition to the D line. That's helped us. We know that Jeremiah Wright is out. And so to have uh, JJ over there, that's helped. I think those guys up front have been doing a very good job. I, I really, I think Coach Easton, I've been over there with his guys during his individual and, and during the work that they do. And, and they do, he does a great job with his individual. He does a great job of teaching that position. I think those guys are learning a ton from him, just how to play it and how to do it at a high level. And then D line's about effort. Once you understand that, it's getting bigger, stronger, faster, then it's about effort. You're going to go get double teamed. You might get three, four, or five double teams in a row. You got to keep going hard. Then you get that one on one. It's a chance to win it. You know, do you have enough juice left in the tank to get that done? Do you have the, the proper technique and using it at the right timing to get that done? Those guys have done it. They, they seem to hold up today. Hard to tell with the quarterbacks and the sacks and all that. They weren't live. So as they come off and tag, I believe those guys are making those plays. I really do. I think the D-line's worked. It's on tackling, you see them making plays on the running backs. And they're holding, they're holding up you know, their end of the bargain up front, and guys are having to bounce. And when tailbacks have to bounce, if you're running something inside, it should force it to linebackers and safeties where they got to go make plays. I thought the D-line was able to, ham- to handle that today. There was a couple runs inside that shouldn't happen to us on D-line. We should be in the right gap. And we should be able to to hold that gap and not allow the back tank had to run. And it was a great job by the O line, but the D line, you know, we gave up. We gave up the inside A gap, and we, we can't do that. We can't do that. And those linebackers have to be in a position to play off that D line. So overall, those guys those guys have continued to get better. And I think making some moves on that side. I think the way that Coach Eason's developing those guys, we just you'd want 15 more practices to keep going. We don't get that. So we'll fine tune a few things on Monday, and then those guys will have to do the work on their own before we come back in the summer. And if they'll keep doing it and they'll keep working on it, then those guys up front, those they're going to keep getting better, and we're, we're going to look like a better front because of the effort and technique we play with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardy. 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 Uh, same thing. You know, those guys weren't out there today, um, uh, various there. reasons, and you know, just weren't a part of, of what we were doing today. So. Uh, those things happen, and as we move into this next phase, um, those things will be revisited, and, and then uh, we get in the summer, and you know, we have new players coming in, and then uh, we'll go from there. Last question is Brian Matthews. Uh, yes, Brian. I was curious if you and your staff and the players have gotten your uh, COVID vaccines yet, and if not, is there a plan to get that done in the coming weeks or months? Uh, there's well, staff members that have, and – uh, as far as an overall team, no. And I think that's not just our team. That was a conversation that, that uh, we had as head coaches, and everybody's trying to figure out what that time frame is. With, with June coming up, um, the, I don't know the answer on the, the vaccine and um, 
you know, who's got it at this point, where it's going. But that's that's something I think every team's working on at this point. We do know that June's coming, and, and you saw that that's going to be an opportunity that, that opens up for for programs. And I think everybody's still working through that. The NCAA throws something out there and says it's open. But we all know that every state and every program and everybody's got different ways of dealing with this. And and we'll have our way, but we got to work off of everybody else and, and come up with a really really good plan. So the people we bring on campus and, and the way we do things, we still you know we operate uh, where we're taking care of everybody. At the end of the day, that's the focus. All right, coach. Okay, good thank for, you. For your time, appreciate it.